big semi-final against a team you know very well. Two games, two wins. How confident are you of making it three out of three today? My boys and I are very confident for the semi-finals and um, yeah, we just give everything we got today. So we got everyone we needed, everyone's attending. This is a big game, big matter. You've yet to concede in this competition. Are you expecting to keep that up today? Yes, we can keep it up today. Um, I believe in my players will do whatever it takes to get less goals conceded, but we will be capable to, to actually score more goals today. Any tactical adjustments you've made today or any players missing? Um, at the moment, everyone is here. Everyone has shown up. Regardless of lateness, everyone has showed up and they're ready for battle. Um, we do have a strong, starting, a strong 16 squad ban. Obviously, there should not be any excuses for my men to go to the finals today. Enzo, yes, big game today. How are you feeling? Ah, the spirit's good. We're all feeling good. We're ready to rumble. Good weather. Should be a good game of football. Coming up against a stiff opposition. They already beat you guys twice. Feeling for revenge? Third time lucky? Third time lucky, Phil. You took the words out of my mouth. I think so. We're ready. The boys are hungry. We've come far. I think now for us, the league is a bit too far to reach. So this is all we've got. Uh, we're in the semi-finals, one game and then we're in the final. So we're going to put in a shift today for real. Big push for you guys to try and get to the final. Um, any changes to your team? No. Nah. The uh, team's pretty much the same. Everyone knows their roles. Everyone knows what we've got to do. We're playing good football. Played last week. Played last week on Astro. We're playing on Astro again this week. So yeah, everyone's ready to go. A very warm welcome to the New River Stadium for the BSFL Junior Challenge Cup semi-final between NLR and North West Wolves. NLR are wearing red shirts and they are managed by Dritun Krasnicki in goal, Landy Juriko, a back four of Maddie Abdullah, Besmir Sokoli, Nana Ajay, Andy Shihaj. In midfield, Indistil Kokowio, Guilherme Silva, Christian Kato Barrett and Igli Kojku down the flanks and Dwayne Hitchman supporting Dori Juriko in attack. On the bench, Johan Ahipod, Dante Kobianchi, Rivi Kojku and Nathaniel Connor Foster. North West Wolves in the grey shirts are managed by David Griffiths. In goal, Charles Cherion, also known as Levi. Esri, Zola, Charlie Fordham, Kane Murphy and the captain Enzo Barone are the back four. David Griffiths, the holding midfielder. Ethan Hudson and Lee Windle just in front of him. Marky Bell, Jake Brown on the wings and Shaki Innocent up front. Keith Sullivan, Reese Effer, Louis Abraham and Malik Vidal on the bench. The Junior Challenge Cup is sponsored by One Stop MOT Centre. Almost three decades of automotive experience. Quote Barnet 20 for 20% off a full service. For more information, follow One Stop MOT Centre on Instagram. Today's referee is Harry Demo. His assistant referees are John Nobleman and Philip Mayer. They're kicking from left to right in the first half. Northwest Wolves. Free kick which Lee Windle will take. Over towards the left-hand side. Cleared away comfortably by Guillermo Silva. Watching it come out the sky is Dwayne Hitchman. It's bobbling around. Barone's there as well. It's Barone that comes away with a ball, but not for very long. Turned forward by Kojku. Hitchman out for a throw. Silva. Hits it forward under pressure from Hudson. In towards Hitchman. Windle. On back by NLR. Jurico switches it. Good ball as well towards the right hand side, but just unable to keep the ball in play. Igli Kuchku. Long throw from Barone, the captain. Went it back in the midfield. Long ball over the top. She had has a poor touch, and the pacey Marky Bell has got ahead of it. Kuchku standing up. Marky Bell still there, trying to round the goalkeeper too. Defenders between him and the goal. And that's a handball, surely, by Maddy Abdullah. And a penalty has been given by the referee. The long ball over the top. And it was that touch from Andy Shehaj that allowed Bell to get ahead of him. But he's got so much to do here. And the three defenders and the goalkeeper made it difficult. But he does get the shot in. It's a handball. There's trouble for Maddy Abdullah. He was shown just a yellow card. I can only presume because the ball was going wide and not in. 
Marky Bell won the penalty and Marky Bell is going to take the penalty. Super save from Landy Jurico. That's a wonderful save because it was going right in the corner. It wasn't a particularly bad penalty, but it was a particularly good save. Right into the corner. If it had any more pace, he really would have struggled to keep it out. But that is a fine stop. Corner to Northwest Wolves. And it comes, headed up in the air by Abdullah, who gave away the penalty moments ago. Kokwe can't quite get it away, but eventually it's cleared. The chase is on for Hitchman. Murphy gets there first and turns it back to Levi, the goalkeeper. Murphy again. NLR are on a magnificent nine-game winning streak at the moment, full of confidence. They're yet to concede a goal in this competition. Innocent couldn't make it stick and into the midfield it goes for NLR to get their way forward with Igli Kuchko. Good run from him up towards the edge of the penalty area. Fed into the penalty area for Hitchman. Gets past his first marker. That's an intelligent ball and Kuchko couldn't finish. Arguably the best chance that NLR have created so far. Still goalless. Hudson. Left the ball behind and then foul on Silva. Free kick. High ball over the top. It's a good ball as well. Christian Cato Barrett gets the better of Zola and he's brought down. Right on the line. Free kick is given. And it literally is right on the line. Played in, took a deflection, headed off the line. That was mighty close. Kodjko. Good interception by Jake Brown. Levi. He's an extra hurt goalkeeper. He does well there. Zola. Long ball forward. Northwest Wolves today without Adam Kerim, their top scorer. He's top scorer in Division 5 this season with 23. This time. Andy Sheehatch, too aware of the pace of Marky Belt. Down the line and a good turn. It's kept in play by Cato Barrett, who goes for the return from Hitchman. This is Cato Barrett, big chance. Decides to turn away from the defender, goes down. Referee says, get up. No penalty given. Not too many complaints from the LLR players as they have to get back. And Northwest Wolves had the chance to cause some damage there on the counter attack. Long throw down the line, hoisted away. And back in the midfield. Sent out wide from Baroni, he's made a good run forward. And Baroni's on the end of this. And the left back was very close to giving his side the lead. Really good run forward from Enzo Baroni. Corner. Slung in just uh, outside the six yard box and volleyed away. Everyone back. So the shot comes in from Baroni and it bobbles through comfortably taken by Landy Jericho. Baroni has that long throw. Towering header away. That's Jake Brown. In the thick of it and the referee gives a free kick for the foul. Protest from NLR. Free kick to Wolves. Window towards the far post, headed down, turned away, not completely cleared and scrambled away eventually, but a few nervous moments for NLR. Throwing towards a penalty area, Hitchman cleared away. Chase is on now for Sokoli. He's got Innocent breathing down his neck. Jake Brown goes on the outside, gets the better of Sokoli, but not for long, free kick is given. And uh, Jake Brown not happy with the challenge from Besmir Sokoli. Won a free kick though. That free kick is taken by Windle. In underneath the crossbar, goalkeeper's missed it. And it's off the line. Brilliant defending. I think it's Guillermi Silva that got it away off the line. But the flag is up. It wouldn't have counted anyway. Somehow, this game is still nil-nil. <laughs> Zola. <laughs> Fordham goes for the long 
ball up towards Jake Brown rolls his marker well gets away from Abdullah I want to go somewhere nice, like Spain Jake right Brown now. good call in this is a real chance Marky Bell wanted to wait for it to come down and his opportunity and it went away from him Innocent has been brought down and the referee says foul but this time outside the box on Shaki Innocent Just outside. Football's all about fine margins, but the referee got that one right. Guillermo Silva with the foul. Enzo Baroni's left foot. There's four in the wall to beat. Beats the four in the wall, but it's not going to beat the goalkeeper. It's over Landy Jurico's crossbar. Coquillo trying to play it forward to Silva, but it's quickly over the top. Watching it bounce. Back was Landy Jericho. Leave it, it's mine, he says, and sure enough it was. Abdullah. Kukwio, he's giving it away. Hudson. Out wide on the left is Jake Brown. Good recovery challenge from Maddie Abdullah. Throwing. Free kick has been given. Windle again. Dangerous underneath the bar. Goalkeeper got hands to it. NLR won the BSFL Intermediate Cup back in 2020-2021 season. The winners of today's semi-final will take on North London Colts or Highgate Albion thirds in the final. Taken right into the penalty area, but beyond everyone, including Jake Brown. The referee blows for half-time. No goals, plenty of excitement, plenty of drama, plenty to talk about. Martial on Cam, I will put Martial Wait. Cam for this one and Dwayne on the right wing and Dory goes up top. Boys, because what's happening is with this 4-4-2, it's looking like a 4-2-4. Four, four. Yeah. Boys, positioning wise, it's not going in, it's, it's, out, it's out of the question boys. You should know your positioning well. You need to know who's behind you, who's in front of you. Boys, you're making it so difficult. Don't make it difficult. You guys are hyped up. He was hyped up for this semi-final to get this win. We can beat them. But boys, you underperforming. This is not what we want. Boys, now I want everyone's heads up. I want everyone's heads up. No excuses. I want everyone's heads up. Do I understand, boys? Boys, one thing that we've done well this first half, no mistakes at the back. Yeah? They've been limited to chances up top. Kept the line good. We've got a head on the ball. There's a couple of times when we're diving in and they're spinning us, Ezra, Enzo. Just stand up. Let them come through you. Watch the bounce right? as well, yeah. boys. We've been done a couple of times. What we're doing is we're going in, think we're going to make the ball. We're not judging it right. And then they're spinning us and then they're away. And it's drawing Chaz out of position, sometimes Kane out of position. We just need to be tight. When we're going forward, Jake, like I said, get on the ball, be direct, take them on. They're going to foul you. They're going to kick you because they can't stop you, right? But take that as a positive and something to keep driving on with. Keep going out, you, mate. You pushing them. in your pocket. Yeah? Stupid. Because now if you lash out or if you make a silly challenge, you're off. And then you're giving me an option. Do I keep you on, on the yellow or not? Yeah? Boys, focus. Lee, solid in the middle, winning the ball, trying to drive us on. Shakai, well played up top. Marky, where are you? Keep, keep running, keep board. spinning them. We, are we an aggressive team? No, we're not an aggressive team, talking wise. Are we an aggressive team? No, we're not. We're a calm team, we're playing football. Yeah? Why are we playing their game? That's what they did. The last two times we beat them, they started chatting shit to each other, complaining and shouting at the refs. We're doing the same thing now, and that's the reason why yeah, it's fucking nil nil. And if it wasn't for Landy, we'd be losing. We need to calm the fuck down, boys. We need to relax. We need to relax, play football, focus on the football. Focus on the football, don't focus on no rest, don't focus on the past, focus on that moment there in the football, that's it. Quiet. I want to obviously communicate it, but I want quiet. I don't want to hear no fucking shouting at each other, no complaining. We yeah. get on with the fucking game. Oh, this team likes the chat, man. They chat you know that, we're just falling into them. If you start talking to them, them, they start talking to you, it's going to get to your head regardless. Yep. And you, you lose focus on the game, focus on the fucking football. Oh, we've got to work twice as hard. They're, to be fair to them, they've been working, they've, they've 
Going they want their redemption, boys. Boys, they want, boys, they want their redemption. They want we do more. not want that. At the end of the day, boys, we are better. But we need to show up regardless today because there is no excuses. There's no excuses at all. Every single time that we said that we need this, we need to be on a home pitch advantage. Everything advantage, boys. None of that. Second half underway. Yuri Juriko passing the ball back to a teammate and they are off and running quickly down the left-hand side. This is Kato Barrett into the penalty area. Plenty of grey shirts back there and it goes behind for a corner. Taken short by Juriko. Twisting and turning to get away from Windle. It's a good delivery. It's a free header. It was a big chance. And Dante Kobianchi was on the end of it, but just couldn't get the proper headed contact. And he glances it wide when really he should have scored. A substitute close to opening the scoring. All cleared away up towards the halfway line. Made a really good start to the second half here, NLR. Ball straight over the top. And here is Kobianchi. And this time he makes no mistake. Dante Kobianchi comes off the bench to open up this cup semi-final. And it was a delightful ball over the top from Silva. And Kobianchi, first time left footed, gets there ahead of the goalkeeper and hits the target with a smooth finish to give NLR the advantage. When NLR won the two league meetings this season, 3-0 and 3-2, even though these two are neck and neck, second against third in Division 5. Level on points, level on games played. Free playing on. It's been won by Kobianchi. One back by Windle, but it goes straight to an opponent in Dwayne Hitchman. Hitchman. Juriku. Rides one challenge. Hitchman again, he's got the option outside him, which is Abdullah, who slams it across and he's into the net from the far post, but Juriko's goal will not count. They're all off onto the pitch to celebrate, but it's cut short because the flag is up, which is unfortunate because it's a great delivery in this. But Juriko, as you can see quite clearly there, was standing in an offside position. He's done well to get anything on, a slammed in cross from Abdullah, and it remains 1-0. Kukwea really have been much better in this second half and the introduction of Kubianchi has made a difference and they're looking for a second and this is Dury Juriko angle not in his side good save by Levi not clear yet Kubianchi Juriko couldn't make room for the shot and it is cleared away he comes back again Hitchman gets ahead of the challenge of Fordham, still Hitchman. Turned behind by Kane Murphy for a corner. It's another really good chance. This goalkeeper does well. The angle not really on Dury Juriko's side. Corner from Coquillo. He's glanced away. Windle. Takes his time before sending a long ball forward. Marky Bell couldn't quite get away from Nana Ajay. It's good defended by Ajay. Jericho does ever so well. Not wide of him is Kato Barrett, who goes pounding forward down the left hand side. The cutback dealt with by Fordham. Sukali, that's a dangerous ball. Nana Ajay just about does enough that's good defending again from Nana Ajay His clearance goes straight to Lee Window, however who gives it straight back to Kukwio Juriko no ball over the top this is Kato Barrett he's got options he might go himself and well, he did and it was Levi that stopped it at the near post Uh, Windle rather. Trud on the ball there, hit his heel and 
Away goes Kato Barrett again. He's a bundle of pace down the left-hand side. He keeps going. He's been brought down. That's going to be a free kick. Caught on the heel. Free kick and towards a goalkeeper who spilt it. Fortune favoured Levi, who grabs the rebound. Kukwea. Silva. Keeping the ball. Been so dominant in this second half. Sokoli into Silva. Much, much better second half performance from NLR. Looking for a hat trick of victories against their opponents, Northwest Wolves, today. Kato Barrett gets the better of Reese Effa. Step over. Still going. This is Jurico, makes room for the shot and fires it over. Goal kick. Launched long downfield. Time beginning to run out now for Northwest Wolves, who've been very much second best. This is Cockshu. Through to Hitchman. Hitchman shaking off the defender's presence. Gets the shot in. It was low, it was hard, it was on target, but it was straight at Levi. Good build up play again from NLR down the left hand side this time. Strength of Dwayne Hitchman won that individual battle. Did everything right, but it was straight at the goalkeeper. Good uh, tackling in the midfield from Connor Foster. He's won it back. Dwayne Hitchman comes across. Beyond Jericho and he does win the throw. And there is the final whistle and that early goal in the second half from the substitute Dante Kobianchi fires NLR into the final of the BSFL Junior Challenge Cup. A 1-0 victory, a dominant second half performance. Big win, 1-0. Trilogy complete and you're through to the Junior Challenge Cup final. How do you think that game went? It went very well. It went very, very well. So we battled throughout the whole 90. We've been a bit sloppy in the first half, but we had the discussion with the lads. They stepped up to the plate. They've gone to the second half, absolutely dominating the attack. But eventually we've gone through and 1-0. There's nothing much I can say. Clean sheet. Landy has been absolutely phenomenal with his penalty save. Without him, we wouldn't be here today. Another game in this competition, another clean sheet, you're yet to concede. Can you take that all the way to the final and lift this trophy? The finals, the finals. You know what? It's going to be a very tough one. Every finals is going to be tough, but we compete every other week like it's a cup final. So we've done very well this season and I've been very proud with my boys today. And lastly, who was your man of the match today? Clearly the, the man standing I would next say, to you. I would say it was Gil. Gil, who was in the centre mid, absolutely, it's brilliant. He's been absolutely brilliant all over the pitch. And a special notice to Nana as well. Nana, who was playing centre back, and Landy, our goalkeeper. Like I said, without him today, we would have gone through whatsoever.